Hello, my name is Andrea and today I'll show you how to install Charmed ML Flow in less than 5 minutes. Let's get started! The very first step is to install a microkit. It comes in the form of a snap package and in order to get it on your laptop you will only need to run one command. As you can see it, it moves fairly quickly and you will have it up and running in just a couple of minutes. Okay, microkit is installed! The next step is to start configuring microkits. Initially, we will create a group that we will call microkits in order to avoid using sudo for every command. Then we will move further and we will ensure that users have proper access and ownership of any Kubectly configuration file. The next step is, um, is more an optional one and it's really related to the fact that you can integrate or relate Charmed MLflow with Charmed Kubeflow. Basically, we will be enabling microkit add-on in order to get extra services that we might need. Now we will be checking if microkit is ready. It's just one command and... Yes, microkit is running! In order to move forward, we will need to install Juju. Similar to microkit, it is just one command. For those who don't know, Juju is an operation lifecycle manager for cloud, spare matter, or Kubernetes. You can read more about Juju on their website. Now that Juju is deployed, we will run a command uh, to deploy a Juju controller to the Kubernetes that we already set up. We are almost there. Bear with us for just a bit. Now that we have the Juju controller deployed as well, next step is to add a model for the MLflow controller. It is just one simple command, as you can see. And here we are, ready to actually deploy Charmed MLflow. There are two commands left that you can easily follow from this guide. They really inform microkits how to interact with the file systems. And now we are ready to deploy Charmed MLflow. You will simply run the command juju deploy MLflow and you are good to go. As you can see, I'm using the Edge channel so that I get the latest and greatest updates from the engineering team that's working on Charmed MLflow. But if you would like to run on a more stable version, simply replace Edge with stable. And there we are. Charmed MLflow is deployed on your machine. Now you can access the UI following the link from the description or the documentation and there you go this is the ui it's very common to the upstream ui of charm of mlflow sorry so that you're familiar with it and that's it thank you very much for watching this if you have additional questions or you would like to share with us your feedback please join us on our matamos channel or go directly on this course if you'd like to integrate Charmed MLflow with additional tooling, you can follow the links from the description. Thank you very much.